Hi everyone, it's Mitch from SportsChatPlace.com and it's Saturday, December 3rd, 2011. It's my favorite day of the week during my favorite time of the year, College Football Saturday. It's the last College Football Saturday, I get to say that this year. Of course, next week it's the Army-Navy game, but it's not quite uh, you know, a full uh, card of college football games. We don't really have a full co card of college football games uh, here today either. We have a decent card and we have it all covered at SportsChatPlace.com. And then of course, for my best bets, our staff's best best bets and picks from some of the top handicappers in the world today, SportsChatPlace.com Premium Edition. I have to say, it's been pretty hot in SportsChatPlace.com Premium Edition this week, but yesterday, the dog came and bit me on the ankle. I was on the wrong side of that Florida-Syracuse game, up by seven. The guy throws up a meaningless three and hits it, and they only win by, they only win by four to not cover uh, Syracuse. Oregon gets stuffed on a fourth down on the, on the five-yard line, ready to take it into the end zone for the cover. Don't in that one and then uh, we lose in overtime with Washington but of course you know that's the nature of the beast I'm not going to sit here and deny it or make excuses those all count as losses in my book and today's another day and uh, we've had plenty of winners this week plenty of winners this year plenty of winners this month at sportschatplace.com premium and we got it locked and loaded with plenty of winners in there today a lot of the other cappers are coming in with picks today Chip Cherimbus, Craig Trapp, Sean Higgs, Kyle Hunter, uh, Joe D'Amico all have picks in there today I know the other guys rock Atkinson. I know the other guys will be coming in with picks as well for uh, you know for NFL football or for uh, the college football games as well, and also all the college hoops action. So be sure to check out SportsChatPlace.com Premium. It is uh, things are have really been heating up in there lately. But uh, in any event, let's just get right to uh, today's free college football pick. Uh, it's not our last college football pick of the year, but it's going to be our last regular season college football pick of the year for these videos. And uh, you know what? This is a game that I was thinking about going to the premium section with, but since it's the last one of the year, let's go right with it here. Oklahoma versus Oklahoma State from Stillwater, Oklahoma on ABC Sports, the primetime game. It's Bedlam in Oklahoma. I love the name of this one. It's the Bedlam series, and it is Bedlam. The thing about this series is, though, while most of these rivalry games, we consider them like these great rivalries and everything like that, and of course, Oklahoma versus Oklahoma State, it's a natural rivalry game, and it's Bedlam. But this has been a really one-sided series, and that side's been Oklahoma, and the Sooners have dominated this series against Oklahoma State. The thing is, this season, Oklahoma State is the team that is locked, locked and loaded, and they might have something still here to play for. Uh, you know, there's a chance that with a win here that they could sneak back into the national championship uh, game picture. Something happens in that LSU Georgia game this afternoon, or you know, the one voter changes his vote one way or another. LSU right now has all of the first place votes, but uh, you know, a little stumble in the uh, polls, a little shifting. Uh, Oklahoma State comes in with a, a big win against Oklahoma. They could jump Alabama in the human polls and that would put them in the national championship game against LSU who's pretty much signed, sealed, and delivered their spot there regardless of, of if they win or lose today against Georgia in the, uh, in the SEC championship game. But what we have here for Oklahoma State is they are stacked and loaded this year. I, I, we've, we've had this team in the premium section almost every single week. Brandon Whedon at quarterback and uh, Blackman wide receiver, the running game, they have it all going and of course the under really underrated defense Bill Young's defense at uh, Oklahoma State really really underrated of course at Oklahoma they're loaded as well they always are top to bottom high school All-Americans Landry Jones at quarterback a Heisman candidate and uh, the thing about Oklahoma that we need to remember though is that they've lost two of their best skill position players Don Whaley the running back and of course Ryan Broyles who was arguably the best receiver in the country. This would have been a showdown between really the two best wide receivers in the country, or at least two of them with Broyles and uh, Blackman. But Broyles, gone for the season, still broke every college receiving record out there uh, before he was injured. That's just how, how good he was. You can't replace a guy like that. You know, Oklahoma has other receivers, but they only have one Ryan Broyles because there only is one Ryan Broyles. The Cowboys are laying three points in this thing. I've seen it creeping up into the three and a half range. I think you still lay the points here with Oklahoma State. I think they lay the wood to Oklahoma in this thing. I think they take them out behind the woodshed, and it's Bedlam. Oklahoma State, lay the points. This is Mitch from SportsChatPlace.com. Thanks for joining me. 
uh, be sure to check out all of our free sports picks, write-ups in action at sportschatplace.com. And for my best bets, our staff's best bets, picks from, uh, check out sportschatplace.com premium edition. Have a great day, and uh, thanks for if those of you that are just uh, college football fans. We'll see you all bowl season long, but uh, thanks for joining me for another great college football season here at sportschatplace.com. Have a great day. I'll see you guys tomorrow with a free NFL pick.